Okay, fantastic. So this is um, uh, the most connected uh, Jaguar ever that we've ever um, showcased. Um, it is what we're demonstrating to you today is the InControl Touch Pro system. Um, this is a brand new system, a uh, hotline system. And uh, one of the things that I want to show off straight away on this um, is that this system is running an uh, Intel quad core processor. And the reason I say that is you can see immediately how smooth uh, and how fluid and tablet like um, the system is and how responsive it is. Um, one of the uh, fantastic new features about this is the customizable home screen. Um, so, what we can do here is we can actually add uh, widgets and shortcuts. Uh, to the system um, and actually add, um, I guess, a, a shortcut to uh, some features that customers would use uh, a, a lot quicker. Um, and we can obviously modify this, drag it, uh, and delete it as well. So, starting off on here, obviously, we have the, the navigation, uh, the satellite imagery, and the 3D imagery on here. But what we can also do is we can actually uh, have the, uh, the map display on the, on the cluster as well, um, as you can see there. And obviously, it keeps, your, keeps you. Uh, looking at the, the display while you can do other things on the touch screen. Um, as well as the map feature, uh, if I switch this off, we also um, have just the standard um, uh, dials um, for, for the customer, but we can actually uh, customize this, uh, this display uh, even further, um, and we can add um, a different themes uh, to this cluster. Uh, so there's four here. So there's journey, uh, there's uh, a technical, which shows a little bit more, uh, more information, uh, a graphical display um, and then minimal so maybe on nighttime driving if you gotcha. just want the, the bare essentials uh, then you've got that, that, as, that as well and then also into that dial behind it as well when you drop the menu away yeah, yeah. Good to you. and what's the technical spec of the displays in terms of resolution and pixels so this is a 10.2 screen um, this one is a I'll have to get back to you on that. Uh, 12, 12, 12, 3, yeah, 12, 3, yeah. What's this here? Is that movies and this is This is the media. Uh, so this is what I, I, I showed you earlier. Um, yeah, so this is the, uh, obviously, running, um, we're playing music off the, the gotcha. media library at the moment. We can't um, watch movies yet, right? That's still... Yes. Well, you can actually... Are we driving yeah, or when, no? When the well, yeah. When the well, yeah. When the <laughs> <laughs> when when the the yeah, exactly. Um, one of the things, um, obviously, the, the media library we have available, there is a, a solid state drive in the vehicle. Okay. Um, so the customers can actually uh, store their music uh, and their media. Uh, How big is the drive? It is uh, 60, 60. 60 gigabytes. Okay. Um, uh, one of the things that we, is fantastic that I want to show off is this uh, app carousel. And obviously, uh, shows off the, the responsiveness, but also is very, very intuitive and obviously uh, looks absolutely fantastic. Um, Obviously, we have the ability to play and stream music from USB, um, Bluetooth, um, just like just like uh, we always have done. Um, the navigation system. Uh, this is a system provided by well, it's Here Maps, uh, and there's a number of fantastic features on this. Uh, the first one is uh, I want to talk about is turn on my commute. So commute, uh, the commute feature basically tracks the user's uh, driving behavior, um, and if if during uh, if if the user goes drives along the same route um, every day. Uh, if there's traffic along that route one day, then they'll actually reroute you to, a new, to, that, to your destination um, by, uh, by a different, different route. Um, what we also have is Share My ETA. Mm -hmm. uh, share My ETA mode it essentially allows um, you to share your, your ETA with someone uh, via text or by email. Um, if you're running late, then they'll send a, an updated text saying, Anish will arrive at this location at this particular time. Um, so that's there. Um, we also have um, different views uh, for, for the map, satellite view, um, 3D maps, um, that's also, uh, also there, available there. Um, and just want to obviously show again the, the response to the system. Um, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. Um, May I? So please. you've got pinch, zoom. Yeah. And then is this capacitive display? Yes. Okay. So some of the other fantastic connected features we have um, is, uh, let's go into web browser first. Um, this actually loads full web pages. Um, struggling a bit of Wi-Fi here, obviously everyone's on it, so uh, it may not load, but uh, we have uh, this fantastic feature called a floating toolbar, uh, patented technology. Um, obviously, if, if something is blocking your line of sight, then you can move this around, uh, zoom in and out, and um, if you want to go back into it, you just simply, um, it simply just expands back up. Um, <laughs> no, it does. Um, so that's that's the web browser, obviously only available while stationary. Okay, which is cool. 
Um, going into live, so this must have been what you were discussing yes. earlier. So these are HTML5 embedded applications. Okay. Uh, we have uh, three here available on demonstration news. Um, so this, uh, when you're driving, for example, is text to speech. Um, so it reads out um, obviously these articles to you. Um, we have uh, a weather app. Um, now, not just like any other standard weather app, we have uh, an extra feature in there called destination. If you have a destination set, this will actually um, show you the weather of uh, your destination at the time of your arrival, um, which not many, uh, but I don't know any other wow. weather uh, apps that actually do that, um, which, is, which is absolutely fantastic. And then what we also have is we have a, a flight tracker as well. Um, so I can actually search for a flight um, and track that flight as well. So if that flight is early or it's delayed, um, I'll get a notification um, and I can see that. Oh, did I just flight track? There we go. Uh, so so the, the other thing with the flight tracker is so rather than actually put the name of the airport you want to go to, you put your, your flight in okay. and then you can set that as the destination so it knows which airport you're flying from. So it just knows automatically yeah, based on the yeah. flight. And the, and the, the cool thing is because you kind of go, well, you know, I can get an app that does that. The, the, the great thing about this is is the fact that actually it's going to monitor that when you're driving. Correct. So you can go back, you can put media on, you can be looking at navigation. If your flight's on time and nothing changes, you don't you don't see anything else. Yeah. Right. Um, but if something happened, if that flight got cancelled, delayed, you're going to get a you know a, an alert. So that's usually in my case is it is it decides you know if that plane's running late, then maybe instead of usually running to the airport as normal, you know I can kind of stroll in, or if the flight's cancelled. Um, you know, I can decide what to do at that point. Maybe it's the last flight of the day. Gotcha. So again, this is really about enabling the, you know, the, the driver to be um, to be in a position where they they actually can use connectivity, but not in a way that's that's more task focused, like on a smartphone. So it's allowing the car to do things for you. Can I get this app on the console or no? Or it's only strictly no, here? So it's on, okay. on, on the on the screen. Um, and while actually while we're on this, sure. just, we can actually go through the uh, the sidebar. Um, so obviously having having the benefit of having a, such a, a widescreen display mm -hmm. is to, if we can actually show um, some um, information that the customers may want to uh, uh, direct the uh, gauge with uh, much more quickly. So obviously you can skip between different um, media um, sources. Um, if I'm connected to my phone, I can obviously make a phone call and see um, see that my call history. Um, my navigation, so again, we have another um, area to see my, my destination, my route. Um, and then what we also have um, is the, the two apps which we've discussed. So the Can news. you swap these two? Or, uh, or are they locked in as they There's are? only so many widgets on the right hand <coughs> side, so there's a finite number of, uh, of widgets. Over time, as we add more um, over the air apps, mm -hmm. Um, they, that main part of the screen, you'll be able to launch different apps. And, gotcha. Uh, yeah. So, gotcha. and it should, you know, demonstrate the, the weather, flight tracker, and the news, which are the ones currently available. And so, then, does this just read the news out loud? Correct. Yep. Yeah. Should do if the Wi Fi is. Yeah. Uh, it's okay. It's, it's understandable. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Yeah. Serbian Embassy employees who were kidnapped last year are believed to have been killed in the UN. Yeah. CNN. Yeah. Through that. Two... Can you talk to the system? So, uh, your voice, te voice recognition is available. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Using um, nuance, uh, sorry, choose, choose um, and then one of the other um, fantastic things, and, and keeping on the same theme as apps, um, is um, in control apps. Okay. So this is uh, essentially our smartphone integration solution. Um, we support both Android and iOS devices. Okay. And essentially, what you're seeing here, these apps are actually uh, stored on this device, which is connected via USB. Um, and essentially, anything you, anything that happens on this screen now is rendered by the, the device. Um, so we work with all these third-party companies. Uh, mm -hmm. They've integrated our SDK. So we don't allow every app on your uh, on your iPhone or your Android device to be shown on here, uh, on your certain number. Um, but we have a, a large portfolio of apps available. Um, so, the, so the type of apps we have um, is uh, music streaming, um, radio text-to-speech, uh, and oh, sorry, news text-to-speech, um, audiobooks, um, parking apps, uh, Stitcher's podcast radio. So no, a number of apps are, are available on the system. Gotcha. Um, These aren't JLR specific apps, just to be clear, because as Anesh said, the partners we work with actually build our SDK 
into those apps. Mm -hmm. So that's just a generic. So you, you go and find the generic app on the App Store when you download it. It's just that when you plug it in our vehicles, either a Jaguar or a Land Rover, you'll get that experience basically from the touch screen. Gotcha. Yep. Moving on. Okay. And there's more. There is. There is. There's a lot more. Um, one feature I just wanted to go into, because um, it's actually very impressive, um, is our 360 camera display. Mm. Um, so what this is doing is stitching um, four camera feeds. Okay. Uh, so there's one in the center front, one in the back, and then one below each uh, window. Okay. Um, so it's a fantastic yeah. feature, um, and it allows you to, uh, to, to really see uh, distances when, you, when you're parking in tight spaces. For example. Does it automatically pop up when you're parking in tight spaces? Uh, yeah, when you put it into reverse and things like reverse. that, you'll get yeah. that, yeah. Okay, so only in reverse, or if you're pulling into a tight parking spot, a lot of times I have to, ma if the feature is available, I have to manually switch it on so I can see whether I'm approaching the line or the size, the cars next to me. So it'll automatically come on if you select reverse. Okay. And then it will automatically pop up, or if you felt the need to, when the car is driving, you can manually, manually turn it on. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's the reason why we have a shortcut here. Uh, so yeah, if you yeah. want to, if you want to press it, then you can. I was wondering about that. Yeah. So that's so you don't, always yeah. there. You don't have to go into this and and, gotcha. and, and choose camera. You have that feature. Are these configurables? Thing. Are the shortcuts configurables to shortcuts that you like, or are they static? The home page is, is where we we will allow the exactly. configuration. Yeah. So where so where we discussed about the home page, you can obviously add gotcha. um, whichever features you'd like to, to access quickly. So that's the camera. Um, one other thing about the camera, I just wanted to show you the clarity of of, of the camera feeds because they are absolutely amazing. Um, so if I show you the front. Oh, nice. There yeah. we go. Look at that. That is, yeah. what is that, 720? Um, we'll have to find out. Okay, no worries. Yep, so we can have a look at the rear. So this is all being done with the Intel processor that we were talking about. That's absolutely astonishing. I think someone's put their attention. But like I said to you, now <laughs> you can see the difference between, you know, a typical automotive infotainment system and, and the level of CPU would for the performance and I think I think Anish is really demonstrating you know the, the experience is kind of what people expect especially That's, in a premium yeah. vehicle so this really is giving you that tablet experience you know within what we think is a beautiful vehicle anyway and I think this is something that are I think people will really um, kind of come to, to love in terms of the, the vehicle experience so for us it's a real a real big step up I think in terms Task of tasks get executed yeah. quicker so your your eyes again, you try and keep them on the road as much as possible. With that, then that cluster view where you've got the nav there, you've got all the important information right in front of you. So you know you just get on with the driving, and then especially in this car, you know you experience the the, the, the kind of the feel of the, the, the vehicle in terms of the, the, the road. So that's that's a really great thing. Yeah. So I guess the, the the last two things I wanted to cover was the uh, in control remote okay. uh, uh, piece and activity. That's very key, actually. Yeah, so this essentially allows you to access and to, to, to track your vehicle anywhere in the world, okay. um, just using a, a, a 3G, 4G connection or a Wi-Fi connection. Um, from this app, you can obviously see the, the fuel level, uh, the odometer, the weather of where I am, um, but I can also see uh, the status of my car. So I can see that the vehicle is unlocked at the moment, um, uh, if the windows are open, if they're closed, um, I can actually go ahead and lock the car now, um, and obviously uh, using the, the connection it'll, it'll lock the vehicle. Um, what I can also do is I can beep and flash the car. So if I lose the car in a multi-story car park, um, I can actually beep the horn yeah, and yeah, flash yeah. the lights. Landed, um, landed on the red eye, and yeah, yeah, he, and it's like, so like it's like it's been six days yeah. since I've seen my car. I yeah. don't remember where it is. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, but then you also get the the, the, the location of the vehicle on, on here on here as well, and you can yeah. actually get directions straight there. Um, some of the other fantastic features it shows you if you if you if there's any um, lights on your on your display. So if you low warn low fuel. Low fuel or, uh, or washing uh, fluid that you need topping up. That's also available. We have journeys. Um, this is essentially it's, it's quite good for business tracking business mileage, for example. Um, so you can actually see the journeys that you've taken um, and, and track those journeys too. Um, and then uh, what we also have is Jaguar assistance uh, and Jaguar uh, the, the SOS call as well. Uh, so if you, and if you um, if you have a flat tire, for example, uh, gotcha. you can call it breakdown. Um, we also have the SOS. All right, thank you so much for the walkthrough. No problem.